So the pricing for the new Corvette Z06 has came out yesterday. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over my thoughts, what I'm gonna be doing, and um, just, you know, my thoughts on the entire thing. So um, I'm gonna, you know, cover some B-roll here just with some, you know, stuff of me building the car and whatnot. Um, but overall, here are my thoughts. So the base price for the car is around $106,000. Um, and that's around fifteen to twenty thousand dollars higher than a lot of people were actually expecting it to be. People were expecting a very similar jump, like the C7 Corvette had, um, of around twenty-five grand um, from the C7 Stingray to the C7 Z06. And we were expecting the Z06, the C8, um, to be priced right at around eighty-nine thousand dollars, right under ninety thousand. That's not the case. It was priced at one hundred and six thousand dollars. So. You know, looking at the pricing sheet, this is what we got right here, and I'm kind of just gonna go through some of it. So if you get a base 2023 Corvette Z06 coupe, so the base base that you possibly can, bare bones, you're gonna be paying $106,395. Um, and this does include the destination freight charge as well, on top of everything. Now, if you were to get you know, everything and max it out, it can be upwards of $160,000. So if you wanna max out this car, you could be paying $160,000 before any dealer markups. This is just what it's priced at right now. And who knows how crazy and psycho the dealers are gonna go marking this thing up, right? Over time it'll go down, but we'll see. Let's just think about, I'm gonna compare my car to this because that's what I'm thinking about. So with my car, I have the 3LT convertible. Um, so that would price me right here at $127,000 um, and that's probably what I would get in this is I, I love the convertible I know you can't see the engine and it'd be weird here especially because it's flat plane crank I'm sure you know Paragon performance just came out with something where it's a clear engine cover where you can see the engine Something else will come out like that in the next year. I love the convertible. It's so much fun and it's totally worth it It's cool to see the engine, but I'm not looking at it while I'm driving. I'm driving <laughs> So that's just my opinion Anyway, so convertible. Now, the Z07 performance package is another $8,995. With that though, um, and a lot of people didn't see this here, it, this requires the additional carbon aero package. So, and you have to choose. Um, so at the very minimum, you know, if you're gonna be getting a Z07 package, which is exactly what I would get, um, I would love to get a Z07 package. So say you're paying 127,245, Plus, say you just get the base carbon flash painted um, thing. I mean, if it were me, I would just fork up the extra 2K and just go for the visible carbon fiber. Um, that's gonna be an extra $10,495, right? So that's $137,000 for a C8 Z06. Now, I don't know if I would get the carbon fiber wheels. I can either get them aftermarket at a later point. Um, I don't know if I would pay for it. Um, but they're not that bad, um, all considering $11,000 for visible carbon fiber. If you get those wheels on top of everything that I'm talking about right now, for my specific build, $149,000 um, before tax, right? That's before tax, that's before any dealer markup or anything crazy like that. So it's super interesting. Now, where my mind goes is say it's 150, 100, let's just call it $160,000 for the build that I would get. Um, I don't know exactly what color I'd get or anything like that, and that, that may influence the price a little bit. Um, but kind of here's where my mind goes, is my future car, what I would love to get next, is a McLaren. And ideally, whether it's a 600 LT, uh, 720S, or a 765 LT, um, that may, I may not be able to get that next, but you know, 600 LT at least, um, and 720S, it'd be my ideal. You know, you're talking big money for that. You're talking probably an extra hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get myself a 720s. Um, I don't know what I would do there. It's a tough decision, but um, you know, thinking forward. But here's what I would do right now, and here's what I'm going to do. I currently don't have any plans to get a CAZ06, um, and the reason why is because it's just going to be so stressful with the dealer markup. There's going to be all that. I'm going to sell my car. I love my car. Um, I've already done some small customizations to it. And where my mind is at is that, okay, the ZR1 is still coming. And I hate having the mindset of, okay, wait for that, wait, just keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting. It really sucks, right? Um, to just keep thinking of just waiting, waiting, waiting. But what I wanna do is, 
I would rather keep my Stingray, right? And customize it even more than I have right now, right? I've already got carbon fiber interior. I wanna add more carbon fiber to the interior, get a carbon fiber wheel. Boom, that puts it on the level of the Z06 for the interior. Great, right? Interior isn't that different in the Z06. Then for the power, because I wanna get my car making 600, 650 horsepower, I'm just gonna supercharge it and I could probably get it to 700. And with that being said, a supercharger, when it's all said and done, may only be $20,000. So, and it's much more realistic. I'll be able to get one within the next year and it'll be awesome. Maybe twin turbos, but I, I really love the supercharger idea. And then you can customize it and make it your own. You keep it and you're faster than a Z06, right? So that's where my mind's at. Maybe that's just me justifying because I don't want to get, I don't want to spend that money right now to get a Z06. I'd rather keep my car and, and enjoy it. Um, without going through all the stress of like the dealer markups and who knows what else, right? And then finally, <clears throat> there is that in the horizon of thinking of a ZR1 or thinking of a McLaren 720S or a McLaren or some kind of supercar like Lamborghini Huracan, um, you know, Lamborghini Aventador, things like that. That would be so cool. I've even thought about an 812 super fast, <clears throat> but that'd be way down the line. Those are just so cool to think about. And I think if I got this Z06 now, I would you know, it, it would be an incredible car and it is going to be an incredible car, don't get me wrong, but it would hold me back and set me back from being able to get the 720S. I would rather keep my car, spend an extra 20 grand, you know, over the next year or two to mod it, to mod it make it super, super cool. And then in the next year or two, then boom, McLaren, Ferrari or Lamborghini or Porsche. You know, we got that option too, but I think I'm leaning more toward the McLaren. So that's my kind of thoughts on the whole thing. What do you guys think about the pricing here of the Z06? It's crazy, $127,000 for a 3LZ. You know, you can, you can max this out to $160,000. So what do you guys think about the 2023 Corvette Z06 pricing? $160,000 to max it out. If I were to get one, it'd probably be around 130, 140. And at that point, if I'm spending that kind of money. Um, I mean, might as well just bite the bullet and increase it to the max out and just get a maxed Z06. It would be super cool. But where I'm at right now, like I said, is I want to really customize my current car. I would love, love to supercharge it and make it even faster than a Z06. That would be super cool. And then see what brings in the, what comes in the future, whether it's a ZR1, Zora, whatever happens. And I'm still really hungry for that McLaren 720S or even the 600 LT. So let me know what you guys think below. Um, comment below what your thoughts are and what you're thinking about doing, whether you do or don't have a Corvette. And let me know if you agree with, with my opinion and what I'd like to do and what I am gonna be doing. So unless a Z06 comes up at a really good price, at a really good dealer, I may get it, but I think 90% uh, chance that I'm not going to get it. I'm going to supercharge my C8. I'm going to make it a 700, 600 horsepower beast and it'll beat Z06s. So and it'll be really, really unique. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one.